Hello viewers, this is Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today or this evening, wherever you may be in the world? Um, so much to read on today, um, from Jared Kushner to Trump to the uh, House hearings that are currently being conducted on the Mueller report, um, through to Trump's antics on the lawn of the White House with the piece of paper that supposedly contained the deal, uh, through to his latest uh, polls and approval ratings uh, and the Democrats' uh, candidates uh, being so far ahead. Um, lots and lots to read on, but let's start with Jared Kushner. Uh, the news has come out that a company part owned by Kushner received $90 million uh, from unknown offshore investment since 2017. So I want to look uh, if that is obviously from the Saudis uh, and possibly from Israel. We'll have a look. Um, obviously, that's that's my, my gut feeling is, is where it's coming from in return for these specific agendas. Uh, and then I want to uh, have a look at whether or not he's currently being investigated, whether or not the uh, FBI and others are on his tail as a result of this investment because it is, um, it's been going on since 2017. Uh, there could very well even be a sealed indictment there for him. Let's have a look. All right, the company Kadra. Kadra. Um, now, of course, we know that he had serious, um, I guess, red flags on his security clearance. Of course, that has been uh, covered up and buried, as we know. Um, and as Trump asserts his uh, his autocratic um, will, I guess, without any uh, any consideration to the norms uh, or the ethics or the morality of it all. I, he simply doesn't care. So Kushner has already been red flagged for his potential um, uh, vulnerability in relation to the Middle East investment in his business. All right, this company, part owned by Kushner, $90 million. All right, is this coming from the Middle Eastern company countries? Is this $90 million coming from Middle Eastern countries such as Saudi Arabia? And what is it in return for? What are the conditions around this $90 million offshore investment? Is this, uh, uh, I guess, cash for or pay for play, however you want to look at it? Uh, what do we need to know about this $90 million? Is this from Middle East and perhaps Saudi Arabia? Let's have a look at what these cards will bring forward. So we've got the chariot, interesting, um, the chariot coming forward as the signifier card. And uh, this now this has been going on since 2017. And the impression that I got when uh, Trump and uh, his family took over the White House was that it was very much a business opportunity for them. It didn't surprise me then as things started to unfold exactly uh, how deep those business ties actually went. Of course, some of that's now being investigated, as we know, specifically the inauguration um, at donations uh, to Trump's inauguration. So the signifier card is the chariot, and to me what that says is that since election, this has been a very strong and significant um, pathway for uh, the Trump and Kushner uh, uh, potentially, allegedly, to enrich themselves uh, through the office of the presidency. But they're being challenged by... Um, the Page of Cups, of course, which is uh, an offer being made, but it's also can be surprise news. So the challenge is that this keeps dripping out. This news keeps coming forward uh, as we prize, slowly prize open the truth. Uh, thank goodness that your media is um, relatively unscathed in America in terms of um, the crackdowns that we're now seeing in Australia, but more on that later if uh, US viewers care to watch. Thanks to your media, thanks to your, um, uh, I guess, congressional investigations as well uh, with the House um, really putting the pressure now on, um, a lot of this is coming forward. Um, and those that have had the courage to leak, and I'll get to Reality uh, reality win Winter, is it, um, who's been incarcerated um, as a whistleblower. I'll get to her in a reading later on. However... Thanks to the news that is coming out, 
we are putting these people uh, on notice and on the spot. And what we're seeing now is an unravelling uh, of Trump's presidency and hence he's coming to the White House lawn with pieces of paper, uh, which is really getting quite desperate, isn't it? So let's have a look at what the foundation of the reading is. Deals, relationships, collaborations, partnerships with this Two of Cups coming forward. This is seal the deal. This is toast the deal. Um, this seems to indicate, according to my cards, that uh, it was a huge opportunity. The presidency was a huge opportunity, a huge business opportunity. There were offers made. The news is coming forward slowly but surely around these offers uh, that, that have been made or this money that has been channeled through either to uh, campaign funds and in this case with Kushner, apparently uh, his, uh, his, his business or his part-owned business. The foundation of the reading uh, is collaboration and partnerships with the Two of Cups. Now what we have in the past is the Hierophant and this is the government in all its, uh, in all its layers, in all its forms. This is the government as it existed prior to the midterms. This is the government now, and this is the accountability that's currently being um, unfolding uh, in the House. It's also the courts, and it's also the lawmakers. So it's interesting that this came forward because I immediately go to the matters that Judge Beryl Howe is hearing uh, with the Mueller grand jury. Um, this, this card is... The fact that it's in the past is suggesting that this may have been an investiga an ongoing investigation, even though the news has come out now. What we've got in the sky is the Eight of Wands, suggesting that this, something more is going to come forward. Now, in the June reading that I did in Trump, we knew that the... Uh, I think this card might have made an appearance at some point. We know that it's just going to keep coming forward now and lots of it. Um, so that is the potential here. It's also the issue for Trump uh, that he can hardly draw breath. Um, I don't know how everybody else is perceiving Donald Trump now, but I find that he is um, quite puffy around the face. He's often quite red. He's, uh, as we know, muddling his words. Um, his Twitter account doesn't have the power or the penetration that it used to. Um, the fact that he's doing these White House lawn antics um, is almost becoming um, a little bit desperate. Now, the author, is it Michael Wolff, uh, who's just done a second book, whatever you think of Michael Wolff, he's, um, he's a little bit too tabloid for me, but his second book uh, struck me with its... Um, uh, with, with, uh, Something that he said, uh, and that was that uh, Bannon, of course, the the Joker Bannon. Um, well, he's not a joke; he's just a joke. <laughs> Steve Bannon said that Trump's uh, presidency is going to end in tears, and it'll be ending in tears for Trump. I I think that's probably something correct that Bannon has got right. Um, what we're seeing now is uh, is a president who's increasingly uh, desperate, if you like. Uh, backing down on those tariffs when he realised that, that the GOP wouldn't support them. Um, it was probably a stunt to begin with anyway, with this deal already being brokered with uh, Mexico during Kirsten Nielsen's time. But all these things that are unfolding when you get you get uh, the Mueller, now the Mueller, uh, the, Mueller the Congress's uh, pursuance of the Mueller uh, report, James Dean on the stand, uh, various attorney, uh, former attorneys um, coming forward and saying, without a doubt, this, this president is not above the law and any, any, anyone else would be, would be um, investigated and uh, indicted. So... Um, Let's keep going and see what we've got in the middle, uh, sorry, in the immediate future. We've got the uh, seven of um, wands here, and this is somebody that is uh, really defending themselves. We asked about Kushner. Kushner will have to defend himself now. This is not going to end uh, quietly or quickly for Jared Kushner. It's only going to get worse. Um, interesting, interesting. All right, currently, um, he really is in the midst of these deals with the, the Lovers card. He is um, 
wheeling and dealing his time away in the White House. Uh, we asked about particularly Saudi Arabia and particularly about the Middle East, which is the most worrisome um, part of all this for me. Um, the environment around Kushner is the tower, uh, which is suggesting that um, this is his tower moment. Uh, he has been... I don't know why he thought he could get away with this, um, but it's it's actually unfolding in a fairly uh, substantial way now for Jared Kushner. It will continue to do so, is my gut feeling, because we've got the Mueller report in the hopes and the fears here. Now, Saudi Arabia is uh, is referred to in, in the Mueller report, um, I think, I, I, I recollect. I did read the document, but that was uh, when it was first released. It took me all weekend, <laughs> a very substantial document. Um, this could also be the hand, handed off investigations because we asked whether or not, uh, what are the conditions around this. The fact that this investment has been um, channelled into this company uh, since 2017 would indicate that authorities probably have picked it up before now, even though the news has come forward. Now, we've got strength and endurance uh, as, as the outcome card here. Now, I, I read this in a number of ways. I asked if these were deals, um, were part of what I, I sought with the tarot, to reveal was whether these were deals done in return for um, for an agenda, and this strength card is is bringing me to uh, bringing me to that um, focus, that this was about strengthening uh, those countries in the Middle East um, uh, and strengthening their agendas, and not just for the present, but uh, for the uh, longer term, because there's an endurance card. Uh, endurance aspect to this card. Let's have a look at the clarification. Yeah, Middle East, the factions, the um, the the warfare. I guess the um, the cultural wars, the religious wars. Uh, this is the Middle East, the Five of Wands. So it was to strengthen a particular country or alliance uh, in the Middle East. Is what these cards are saying to me. Now, isolation, that's interesting because now I'm going to Israel. Um, although Israel is not necessarily isolated, it's very aligned with Saudi Arabia now. Um, let's have a look at what's uh, underneath here. Yeah. There's so much more to come um, forward in the... In, According to this card, uh, there is so much hidden here. This has been a plan right from the word go. And if you go back to my Middle Eastern uh, reading of Monday, uh, the cards seem to suggest that this was spoken about and um, and arranged uh, right right back in 2016, or possibly before for many years. Interesting with this card, the High Priestess, there is, to me, a religious feel to this card coming forward, um, and I do feel that uh, these cards speak to me of the Middle East. Now, um, I'm getting a pull on Israel and Saudi Arabia. Um, so let's have a look at whether or not the authorities, the, um, the investigators, actually are investigating this. So this conflict of interest questions, okay? So it's not been established via this media story that there is actually um, uh, paying for a, a specific agenda. Uh, that's for the investigators to do. So let's have a look. Is he under investigation for this, uh, in part for these types of investments? All right, is Kushner currently under investigation? Actually, let me just give this a good shuffle because this is an important question. Is Jared Kushner currently under investigation for this type of investment in his personal companies? Kushner currently under investigation for this type of investment. Kushner investigation. 
Okay, so the signifier card is battle weary, suggesting that um, he's not just been under one investigation, he's been under a lot of investigation. It's challenged by uh, the emotion around Kushner. This, of course, is wanting new starts, new emotional starts. But this is also how people generally feel about Jared Kushner. It's almost like seeing a wolf in the sheep pen. And we see it. The wolf is there. The wolf is uh, sitting in the corner, well, standing in the corner of that sheep pen. Uh, and uh, there's nothing that, uh, that has been done about that. Um, and and people are wanting this investigated. Um, it's probably one of the most potentially allegedly visible, um, I guess, conflicts of interest, let's just put it mildly like that, that we are currently seeing in the White House. Kushner is a focus. Right, we've got the strength card coming forward, which came forward in the last uh, reading. I also feel that there is the uh, aspect here of... Um, the strength, perhaps, of um, of investigations and will to uh, to bring forward accountability. Things are going stronger. Things are becoming more and more and more. They're gaining momentum now. Now, in the past, we've got the chariot ride. Um, I guess you know chariots are associated with the Roman Empire, but. To me, uh, there's also an Egyptian feel to this card. So this came forward also, and we shuffled uh, fairly uh, fairly well in our last reading. So sometimes these ties can be knitted up to, um, to actually get further insight. So this is the chariot card. To me, this is the ride that, uh, that the White House, Kushner, etc. were on in relation to the Middle East. What's in the sky? Okay, so yeah. This is Kushner's uh, ending, painful ending, downfall. This is a downfall card, um, the Ten of uh, Swords. Also, to me, suggests could be some betrayal as well. Um, if we think that the Republicans are going to desert Trump at some time in the future as the Titanic um, unfortunately goes down, well, when I say unfortunately, I mean the Titanic is uh, was a tragedy. Um, Trump's The end of Trump's reign won't be a tragedy. But if we think that Republicans um, are going to desert Trump, they certainly won't be showing any loyalty to someone like Jared Kushner. He wasn't an elected official. He is the president's son-in-law. Why is he even there? Okay, now we've got the Queen of Wands um, suggesting that there are... This is, um, I feel... Uh, it is my card for the Democrats. It is my card for the House. Uh, so I feel that there's possibly things on... Um, that the House has gathered. Uh, remember, they took over uh, from the Republicans and the Republican investigations all the documents that were on file around Jared uh, Kushner's security clearance, etc. I feel that there is information there that we uh, we don't know about that actually others have. We've got the greed and the avarice here, and the you know being chained to something. Um, I feel that. Uh, you know, whether Kushner knows it or not, he's not a free man. Um, he's chained uh, to those that um, have bailed him out of incredible debt, the Saudis uh, and his triple six building um, and and many other things. Uh, and indeed, uh, this could suggest some sort of compromise. I'm using a Russian word, but there could be something that the, um, that the Saudis may have on Kushner. Um, it could be something that Russia has on him. So he has a conflict of interest. He's probably one of the most, to me, um, foolish people uh, in terms of his actions and what he's done since he's been in the White House because the environment around him is bringing forward the truth with this page of swords. All right, the hopes and the fears digging around in the past. Okay, so the evidence will be in the past. And we've got Kushner walking away, suggesting that when the heat is applied, uh, that uh, this is loss and this is walking away. He and uh, Ivanka, I've always um, thought, will announce they're going back to New York. But that's not really going to help him, is it? So we've got compromises and decisions to be made here in relation to him walking away. It, it could be something that he's currently um, considering. And we've got the uh, the Middle East and Five of Wands uh, coming forward here. 
this the other aspect to this card what it, oh these set of cards is that he the financial loss that he suffered in the past because that's linking with the six of cups we've got uh, him being at the crossroads and needing to make decisions but the other aspect of the two of swords is compromise suggesting that he's been compromised I feel this is coming from the Middle East in some way. Um, I feel that he has been chained by the debt that he has uh, and that uh, that information is coming forward now. We've got the Queen of Cups, which often comes forward um, as we are now looking at the tail end. I feel the tail end of the Trump presidency. Polls would suggest that there's uh, very little chance of him being elected. Of course, uh, polls have been wrong in the past, but, but the... Uh, the way that the truth is coming forward, um, it's highly unlikely that Trump would uh, retake um, the White House in 2020. Queen of Cups, I feel, could, you know, this is someone who's uh, quite supportive but holds information. And so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to the various investigations that... Um, that Muller has handed off. I feel, and also the house as well. I feel that there's information um, being held on uh, on 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 Kushner. There's possibly even um, an indictment there for him. We know that Barr um, lied when he said, or the Department of Justice. Um, which is headed by Barr, lied when they said there was no more sealed indictments because we saw a sealed indictment come forward for Nada as soon as he um, returned to the country. He was arrested. Okay. Um, okay, let's ask if he'll face justice because, uh, as I said, he's among the more foolish of the players in, his, in the blatant way that his conflict of interest uh, seems to stand out. So I'll just cut this deck again. Jared Kushner. Jared Kushner. Will he face justice? Jared Kushner, will he face justice? Will he face justice? Oops. Okay, so we've got the Hierophant um, uh, coming out of the pack. Of course, to me, it is the government... Um, and it is also the courts. It's any sort of very strong institution. It can also be a religious institution here. But the Hierophant also has another. It's it's um, not fitting into traditions. Um, and so, as I said, Kushner is one of the more vis visible um, uh, anom anomalies. Is is too uh, light a word. Um, in the upside down world uh, that we live in, uh, where norms and values and ethics and indeed potentially could be the laws being broken, we'll find that out. Um, Kushner is one of the key players, suggesting here that the uh, I feel that the um, if we do move to an impeachment inquiry or indeed in the congressional investigations that are currently unfolding, I feel Kushner is going to be. Um, is going to be one of the uh, forerunners here. He's going to be called out in some way. I feel that he's also very isolated at this point in time. All right, let's have a look. Endings and beginnings, on, and this is the world card. Will he face justice? For the deals that he's done with the Three of Cups, the uh, the Ring of Support, Who's who is this Circle of Support? Would it be Israel? Would it be Saudi? Would it be Kushner? United Arab Emirates circles of support. Will he face justice? I feel that the strength card is talking about the strength potentially of uh, any investigation that's currently uh, unfolding with Kushner at the moment. We've got uh, in the immediate future, we've got the star of hope coming forward, suggesting that um, these... Uh, We've got the hope that these uh, investigations are strong, that there's going to be enough evidence here that, you know, he's not going to uh, get off the hook as he's done in the past. We've got the anxiety and the worry, the fact that he's so compromised. It's also his anxiety and worry. Remember that there's a tower moment for Jared Kushner. He's pretty isolated as well, and there's monetary loss for him. Now, is he under investigation? If money has been found to have come to him illegally, it will be seized. 
it will be seized and he will uh, lose. And I feel, as I, I think this is what is worrying them at this point in time, and it's the loss of their money, the hopes and the fears, having to defend himself. Um, this would potentially be in a court, in a trial. We've got the sword of truth. So, yes, he is under investigation. Yes, he will face justice. Um, and here we've got our Queen of Cups coming forward again, uh, suggesting there's a lot more to be revealed. But this could actually be uh, an existing investigator or judge. And we've got new starts with the Ace of Wands. Two Aces. Uh, aces, of course, are yes, are yes cards. Um, and what's hidden from our view is endings. Okay, so yes, uh, he will, he will face, he will face justice with two aces coming forward, two yes cards. Um, he's going to be uh, either tried by a female judge or he's currently being investigated by a female attorney or there's uh, this Queen of Cups coming forward again. Certainly uh, it's the end of his ride with that chariot <laughs> in the Middle East. It's going to be the end of his ride. I feel, um, I feel that there's a lot of... Uh, evidence already, um, both that, that the House has uh, and that those other investigations have and that uh, the truth is, uh, the truth, the sort of justice um, is actually going to reveal the that evidence. Okay, his fear, he knows he's going to have to face justice. All right, um, that is Kushner. I'm going to leave it there. Um, potentially, as I said, one of the, the most... I won't say naive, but foolish, foolish players in all of this and meddling uh, in uh, the Middle East, which is dangerous for us all. Um, so Kushner, he will face justice at the end of the day. Uh, and he, I think he knows it and he's also worried about the loss of his money. Remember that the, um, the Fed seized uh, Paul Manafort's uh, uh, condo or whatever it is, apartment in, in Trump Tower. So um, potentially that Jared Kushner could lose, um, could lose big time <laughs> the family fortune. Okay, playing in the Middle East. All right, being beholden, chained to these masters, potentially I feel through uh, through debt, um, terrible conflict of interest uh, that has been allowed to go unchallenged thus far, suggesting though that investigators have information on hand and that he is likely to face justice uh, in time. The tower moment uh, is uh, was in that first spread. Okay, I'll leave it there. I'll move on to the next reading. Thank you, viewers.